Greetings, everyone. Are you familiar with the intriguing world of python farming? Were you aware that beneath the enchantment of python skin processing lies a captivating industry worth millions of dollars? Join us as we delve into this journey of exploration. In recent decades, fashion products crafted from python skin have surged in popularity, emerging as luxury items since the 1980s. Today, they remain highly coveted by fashion aficionados, commanding an average price of approximately $5,000 per piece. With a strong demand for python leather goods, the python skin industry stands proudly with a market value soaring into the billions of dollars. Would you be interested in owning a handbag featuring these distinctive patterns? I've learned that the most expensive handbag crafted from python leather can reach a staggering $200,000 price tag, underscoring the exceptional value of this leather type in the fashion world. Esteemed brands such as Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and others reap substantial profits from the python leather industry, collectively generating around $23.5 billion in revenue. Python skins primarily originate from Southeast Asia, where individuals either capture pythons in the wild or rear them on farms. Raising and processing pythons serve as primary sources of income for many individuals in Southeast Asian nations. Significant quantities of pythons particularly from Malaysia and Myanmar, serve as the primary supply of python skins for the fashion markets in Europe and the United States. The process of obtaining python skin involves delicately skinning the pythons using a sharp, precise knife to detach the skin from the body. The ultimate aim is to produce flawless pieces of python skin. Therefore, meticulous handling is crucial to prevent any tears in the skin which would reduce its value. The use of python skin in fashion has drawn criticism from animal welfare organisations, citing concerns about the inhumane treatment of pythons during the skinning process. However, it's important to note that pythons are typically skinned after being euthanized, and many are bred on farms specifically for this purpose. For some individuals in impoverished regions, the demand for python skin provides a vital source of income that helps prevent poverty and deprivation.
Python skin is highly favored for fashion accessories due to its exceptional durability and sturdiness, making it ideal for daily use by those seeking longevity in their accessories. However, trading Python skin is illegal in many parts of the world, necessitating that Python processing facilities obtain proper operating licenses to supply fashion design factories. Shoes crafted from Python skin offer both durability and a soft, comfortable feel, molding to the feet with a gentle embrace. Moreover, Python skin is naturally water-resistant and resistant to cracking under varying weather conditions. To facilitate the production of python leather products, fashion brands have established farms in certain Southeast Asian countries where pythons are abundant. Here, pythons are raised in optimal conditions to ensure the highest quality skins before they are transformed into shoes, handbags and belts. Python meat is consumed as a source of protein by local residents and is highly nutritious, containing significant amounts of calcium and other beneficial nutrients essential for bone and joint health. Including python meat or other python-derived products in one's diet can help prevent diseases related to bones and joints. Moreover, python fat is rich in collagen, offering beauty benefits for women. Cosmetic products containing python-derived components are developed to promote smooth, youthful and vibrant skin. These products are sought after for their potential to enhance health and beauty. Are you aware that crocodile farms generate hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue for farmers annually? Ever wondered about the methods employed to rear these formidable creatures? As many of you might be aware, crocodile leather ranks among the most opulent and costly materials worldwide. Its rugged allure adds a touch of sophistication and uniqueness to fashion and beauty items. Let's explore the origins of these creatures. Across the globe, there exist various species of crocodiles, primarily categorized into two families, crocodile and alligator. Not only are these creatures symbols of strength and dominance in the animal kingdom, but they also possess an enigmatic and alluring charm. Alligators, renowned for their robustness and survival instincts, hold significance not only in nature, but also in human culture. While revered as sacred in certain regions, crocodiles have become targets for hunting, primarily for meat and leather, in other parts of the world. 
the crocodile farming industry, along with its associated technologies, thrives in Africa, Asia, Australia, and the Americas, catering to the production of meat, leather, and high-end merchandise derived from these creatures. Today, numerous crocodile farms and facilities have been established, transforming crocodile farming into a substantial and lucrative sector, generating revenues ranging from 60 to 70 million dollars. This growth reflects the industry's capacity to meet the demand for crocodile products in the global market. Crocodile eggs are meticulously gathered and identified at the spawning area before being transported to the farm. The incubation process for alligator eggs is a momentous occasion at the farm. Approximately 90 days later, the newborn alligators emerge, measuring only the size of a thumb and about the length of a finger. Initially, they move sluggishly in the first few minutes after hatching, but quickly gain agility and develop the ability to forage for food. The dietary requirements of crocodiles typically include primary ingredients such as poultry, fish, beef, and various other sources of protein, all of which play a vital role in supporting their growth and overall health maintenance. Crocodile farmers often employ specialized feeding techniques, tailoring the diet to meet the specific nutritional needs of these animals. Don't forget to take a moment to refresh yourself with a cup of tea, and please leave a comment with the number one to indicate that you're still following along with this video. Join us as we continue our exploration of fascinating subjects you may have never encountered before. Here, we demonstrate the manual process traditionally used for handling alligator meat. With just a knife, chefs can adeptly skin, fillet, and debone the alligator. These facilities are equipped with cutting edge technology to ensure the efficient and safe processing of alligator meat. Skilled processing experts utilize state of the art equipment to expertly skin, fillet, and handle the meat, adhering to strict food safety standards and maintaining top notch quality. The Alligator Meat Factory serves as a hub where numerous skilled and experienced technicians in the field converge. Crocodile meat portions undergo meticulous processing and packaging to cater to consumer needs. Have you ever had the pleasure of tasting dishes prepared with crocodile meat? Renowned for its relatively mild flavor, akin to poultry or salmon, Crocodile meat is also a nutrient-rich source of protein, boasting essential vitamins such as B12 and niacin, along with minerals like zinc and iron, which support energy and overall bodily functions. Moreover, owing to its low fat content, particularly saturated fat, crocodile meat contributes to reducing the risk of heart disease. Would you like to savour the delectable flavour of crocodile meat? Undoubtedly, you're familiar with products crafted from alligator leather. The process of harvesting alligator skin for fashion items entails a delicate and professional approach. Alligator leather, renowned for its distinctive grain and exceptional durability, emerges as a premium material for an array of products including handbags, wallets, belts, shoes, and various accessories. The process of harvesting alligator leather often employs modern technologies, with air compression machines playing a pivotal role. These machines aid in delicately separating the skin from the underlying connective and muscular tissues, minimizing damage while ensuring efficiency. This modern approach not only maintains the natural characteristics of the leather, but also upholds its high quality and aesthetic appeal, essential for the final fashion products. To further enhance the allure of crocodile leather, 
it undergoes dyeing and is meticulously brushed with a special layer to achieve a polished finish before being incorporated into the manufacturing process. Each product crafted from crocodile leather reflects the refinement and dedication of artisans throughout every stage of production, from cutting and stitching to the final embellishments. It's a harmonious blend of skill and passion, resulting in pieces that exude not only elegance, but also true craftsmanship. Have you ever had the chance to savour a dish crafted from gecko meat? Allow me to describe the unique flavour profile of this delicacy. Join me as we explore the intricate process of raising and processing geckos in China. Geckos, renowned for their remarkable ability to change skin colour, have emerged as a thriving industry in China. With prices soaring to $600,000 annually, numerous Chinese farmers are venturing into gecko cultivation to capitalize on this lucrative market. Geckos boast relatively robust physiques, with males reaching lengths of 30 to 40 centimeters and weighing approximately 150 to 300 grams. Females, albeit smaller in size, can live up to 10 or even 18 years under optimal care conditions. Their distinctive features include somewhat flattened, triangular heads adorned with brown or golden orange eyes. Geckos possess remarkable visual acuity, capable of focusing intensely while feeding or observing their surroundings. They can maintain unwavering attention on a single spot for hours without blinking or diverting their gaze. Notably, geckos exhibit unparalleled mobility, effortlessly traversing any surface, be it slippery or vertical. Each hair on their feet terminates in numerous nanometer-sized fibers known as spatulae. These spatulae enable geckos to adhere to flat surfaces through electrostatic interactions. As they scale walls, the spatulae alternately interact with positively and negatively charged molecules on the surface generating an attractive force known as van der Waals force. Drawing from the natural behaviours of geckos, farmers meticulously craft suitable environments within gecko farms Enclosures are constructed using a variety of materials such as bricks, steel mesh, wood or nests, tailored to fit dimensions ranging from 2 to 2.2 metres in height and 1.2 to 1.5 metres in width and length. These dimensions are adjusted based on the farm's size and the number of geckos housed within. Similar to practices in other animal husbandry sectors, gecko farms prioritize the selection of breeding stock. Optimal breeding stock selection ensures efficient farm growth, maximized profits, and contributes to the advancement of the gecko farming industry. Have you ever observed gecko eggs within the enclosures? Wooden branches and logs are provided within the enclosures to facilitate gecko growth and egg laying. 
farmers introduce geckos near reproductive age to acclimate them to the new environment. During winter, when temperatures drop below 20 C, geckos enter hibernation. With the arrival of spring and warmer weather, geckos commence mating behaviours. Once geckos reach approximately six months of age and weigh around 50 to 60 grams or more, they begin laying eggs. Gecko eggs are collected and arranged to form sizable egg nests. Typically, a gecko lays two to three eggs during each egg-laying session. These eggs are coated with a sticky substance, aiding in their firm attachment to prepared wooden branches. The eggshells gradually harden within a few hours after being laid and hatch approximately three months later. In their natural habitat, Young geckos typically cohabitate with their parents until the nest becomes overcrowded, prompting them to relocate to a new nesting site. To achieve optimal growth and maximize economic returns, farms must master breeding techniques to attain the highest level of success. Regarding nutrition, farm owners adhere to a scheduled feeding regimen to facilitate easier care, offering geckos two meals per day. Given geckos' nocturnal hunting tendencies, feeding typically occurs in the evening and early morning hours. Geckos exhibit a preference for crickets, thus farms often integrate cricket farming models to supply a convenient and abundant food source. During the growth phase, geckos can consume up to 20 crickets per feeding. When selecting food for geckos, it's imperative to choose prey of appropriate size or cut insects into smaller pieces to facilitate digestion and prevent blockages. This practice not only ensures food quality, but also contributes to cost savings during the nurturing process. After approximately 12 months of breeding, geckos are ready for harvest and subsequent sale to traders. Geckos can be processed in diverse ways depending on their intended use. Beyond serving as a source of nutrition, geckos hold significance in Chinese folk medicine as a traditional remedy. We embark on a journey to explore fur farms across various nations, witnessing the intricate process involved in crafting opulent fur attire. These farms are predominantly situated in Denmark, Poland, China, 
the Netherlands, and the United States. Denmark stands as a formidable player in the fur industry, contributing 40% of the global fur output and claiming the third position in animal and fur product exports, boasting an annual export worth of approximately 500 million. Fascinatingly, the epicenter of this industry is Copenhagen, home to the world's largest fur producer, Copenhagen Fur. Annually, it distributes approximately 14 million Danish mink pelts, sourced from 2,000 Danish farmers, alongside 7 million mink pelts from international sources. Renowned for its unparalleled quality, Danish mink holds a prestigious status as the epitome of luxury in the fur market. The mating season for minks typically spans from late winter to early spring. During this period, female weasels, known as queens, and male ferrets are paired together for breeding purposes. Male ferrets showcase elaborate courtship rituals, emitting loud calls and executing charming gestures to woo their female counterparts. Ensuring an adequate supply of nesting materials is imperative during the mating season, facilitating the creation of secure and cosy environments for nurturing newborn kits. Following a successful mating, as female minks approach childbirth, fur farmers often employ a distinctive method to ascertain if births have occurred within the enclosures. Post-birth, they construct nests accommodating four to eight mink kits. While nest sizes may vary, newborn mink kits are born blind and hairless, relying on their mother for sustenance and warmth. The maternal instinct of the mother mink shines through as she cradles her offspring, fostering a truly heartening scene. The nurturing and care of the mink kits fall upon the female mink until they reach a stage of independence. Approximately six to eight weeks later, they mature sufficiently to be separated and reared in individual enclosures. The facility utilizes premium grade ingredients encompassing poultry, fish, animal, and plant-derived protein sources, fats, as well as essential vitamins and minerals crucial for the optimal development and well-being of minks. The meticulous preparation of food for minks stands as a pivotal process. Following the processing and blending of components to craft the desired formula, the subsequent steps involve grinding and utilising specialised equipment to compress and mould the food into blocks. Minks adhere to a regulated and balanced diet, ensuring they receive the requisite nutrients and energy. Typically, minks are fed two to three times daily, with food quantities tailored to each mink's age, size and specific requirements. Minks are harvested upon reaching the desired size and exhibiting the desired fur quality. Some farms employ the use of CO2 gas as a humane method for euthanizing minks. This procedure entails placing the minks in an environment saturated with CO2 gas. The elevated CO2 concentration swiftly induces unconsciousness in the minks, ensuring they undergo the slaughtering process without experiencing pain or distress.
delicately loosening the fur on the tail and hind legs proves vital for facilitating smooth and efficient fur removal while mitigating the risk of fur tearing or damage. Subsequently, following the complete removal of fur from the mink's body, a worker handles it with care to ensure proper cooling and positioning, thereby preserving the fur's shape and quality throughout the drying and subsequent processing phases. Fur pelts are suspended vertically on straight plastic sticks, with workers meticulously stretching and securing the lower portion of the fur to guarantee proper positioning. This meticulous procedure aids in preserving the fur's shape and quality throughout the drying and subsequent processing phases. The strategic utilization of plastic sticks offers stability and support to the fur pelts, allowing them to undergo natural drying. Labels affixed to the fur provide customers with essential product information. Experienced fur experts or inspectors meticulously scrutinize the fur based on predetermined criteria, assessing factors like fur density, length, texture, color, and any imperfections or creases. This inspection process is particularly critical for premium or deluxe fur products, wherein meticulous attention to detail is imperative to accentuate or amplify the fur's attributes. Machinery and technology can streamline and enhance the grading process. These automated systems utilize diverse methodologies such as image analysis, fiber measurement, and text evaluation to objectively assess and grade the fur. We genuinely appreciate your support and enthusiasm for our channel. Your continued viewership means the world to us, and we are committed to providing valuable content that enriches your knowledge and endeavors. Thank you wholeheartedly for being a part of our community.